Hey, hey, Mzansi. Mzansi, over the last week or so, one of the breakout social media stars has been identified as Pastor Christ Penelope. Why, you may ask? Well, you're going to regret posing the question. The radical preacher has made a name for himself by farting on his followers, yes? Claiming that the bizarre ritual can help cure any spiritual problems. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News Mzansi. Now, if you're new to my channel, you know you're here for the story. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll never miss an update. So Mzansi, the slim pop or pastor Penelope, who we are branding the Holy Father from now on, has defended his actions, saying that he is doing the Lord's work. According to the flamboyant pastor, he's merely demonstrating the power of God. It is a demonstration of God's power. Just like God made Adam, made Adam go into a deep sleep, it is a similar thing. God did anything with the body of Adam while he was on the ground in deep sleep. He was not feeling anything. Now Mzansi, who is this cross Penelope? Well, let's hope in every sense of the term, his congregants are able to turn the the other cheek. As we were about in Easter, it seemed apparent that Christ Penelope has been rather flatulent, again coming under fire for his unorthodox teachings. His profile has exploded on social media as South Africans tried to wrap their heads around the bizarre scenes. Now, Uncle Sammy on Twitter said, this is one of the satanic things charismatic church leaders are missing out their gullible congregates. This one fights on his congregate faces. Guiani people in this is, is this clown who founded Sevenfold Holy Ministries, one of you. Now, Mzansi, it's not just this example of touching cloth that has kicked up a stink for the Guiani-based pasta. Christ Penelope has also made his congregates eat snakes to test their faith. He then went on to anoint his followers with condom oil, suggesting that the ceremony would help provide salvation for his long-suffering subjects. Now, this pastor continues to practice as the Sevenfold Holy Spirit Ministries in the province of Limpopo. His new newfound fame might not serve him well elsewhere, but he has a loyal fan base that will quite clearly do anything he asks for them. South Africans are desperate for miracles. And now I'm saying this, South Africans are lazy. If they were not, they wouldn't be allowing all this profit for profit happen. Now do leave a thought in the comments section below. I love to hear from you, but for now, you know, I will bring you the updates hot just the way you like it.